Hey, Tim Frisch with a Frisch Perspective here, bringing you analysis, reviews, and fun. And we're going to continue today talking about uh, Bible translation comparison. Uh, recently, I did a couple of videos comparing the English Standard Version and the New American Standard Bible, so you can check those out. But I want to do a couple of videos now comparing the Christian Standard Bible to the New International Version. And I'm going to start in this video with five reasons why the Christian Standard Bible is better than the New International Version. Now, if you are a New International Version user and lover, uh, have no fear, don't worry, don't get upset by this video. I will be talking in a follow-up video five reasons why the NIV, the New International Version, is better than the CSB. But in this video, I want to talk about why the Christian Standard Bible is better than the New International Version. And I just want to say off the bat that this is not exhaustive. Uh, this is not extremely scientific. These are just some general observations that I've made in looking at these two translations. And since I get questions from people asking about these translations, I thought it would be helpful to take a look at both of these and compare them to each other. So the first reason that the CSB is better than the NIV is that the CSB is more innovative and current. So what I mean by this is that when the NIV came out in the late 70s, early 80s, uh, it tended to sound a little more traditional and a little bit more like Bible sounded up to that point in time. The Christian Standard Bible and update of the HCSB uh, was finalized in 2017, and it just has a more innovative and current way of sounding. And by innovative, I don't mean that they took liberties with the original languages and changed things to suit their own purposes. They were trying to be very accurate. However, they were willing to pull away from certain traditions or things that people were used to in Bible translations. So I'll give you a couple examples here. The first is in John chapter 3, verse 16, very familiar verse. And in the Christian Standard Bible, it says, For God loved the world in this way, that he gave his one and only Son. In the New International Version, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. So you can see there that the New International Version actually reads a little more traditionally, saying God so loved the world. The Christian Standard Bible doesn't sound as traditional there. It says God loved the world in this way. But that's actually accurate uh, more to what the original is getting at. So it is innovative, but it's actually really accurate there, and that's a good thing. Another innovation we see here is in Romans 3.25, where it says, In the CSB, God presented him, Jesus, as the mercy seat by his blood. And then in uh, the New International Version, it says, God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood. So I would say there that uh, the Christian Standard Bible is being a little bit more innovative or doing something not as traditional. Traditionally, versions have said propitiation or sacrifice of atonement like you read in the NIV, whereas the Christian Standard Bible actually says mercy seat there. There are some other translations that do that, but that's not the typical translation, even though that is accurate and it does have theological significance. So I think it's really neat that you can see some innovations that the Christian Standard Bible gives here. But what's good is that the CSB is really just trying to be accurate and trying to use the best scholarship in how they translate. So that's a really good thing. So the CSB is more innovative and current, I would say, than the NIV. And number two, it's more literal than the NIV. So I think this is really good because the CSB, when you get a translation, yeah, you do want it to read well in English, but we need to be careful that it doesn't get to be too interpretive. The NIV isn't extreme by any measure, but it is more interpretive than the CSB. So the CSB reads a little bit more literally, more like the original than the NIV does. And I'll give you a couple examples of that. So for example, in 2 Corinthians 5.14, the Christian Standard Bible says, for the love of Christ compels us. So the literal phrase there, love of Christ, and in the New International Version it says, for Christ's love compels us. The New International Version is actually clearer there. However, love of Christ, which is what the original reads, uh, it, it could be taken a couple different ways. Is that talking about our love for Christ or Christ's love for us? So there's a little bit of ambiguity there in the Greek. 
and you, you see that with the CSB, but the NIV just tries to clear that up and they interpret it a little bit more and they say Christ's love. So the NIV might be clearer there, but it's also a little bit more interpretive. Another example is in 1 Timothy 2.12, the Christian Standard Bible says, I do not allow a woman to teach or to have authority over a man. The New International Version says, I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. Now this might be a little bit nitpicky because one says have authority and the other says assume authority, but really the idea in the Greek there is just someone who is taking a position of authority over someone else. Uh, the, the way the NIV reads, it's very subtle there, but by saying assume authority, some people might take that to mean that as long as a woman doesn't assume authority, then they're not violating what Paul is saying there. So it's just a nuance there, but the CSB is a little bit more literal, straightforward. It just says have authority over a man, which is more like the original reads. So the CSB is more literal than the NIV. And number three, the CSB is less concerned with gender neutrality than the NIV. So what I like about this is that the CSB uses pronouns that are more like what you read in the original and I think make for better English. So let me show you that here. In John 14, 21, the Christian Standard Bible says, The one who has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will also love him and reveal myself to him. John 14, 21 in the New International Version says, Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I too will love them and show myself to them. So is Jesus talking about one person or many people when he says this? And really he's referring to a person in this instance, right? A person who has my commands and keeps them, that Jesus will love that person and he will show himself to that person. So you get that more in the pronouns with the Christian Standard Bible because they're not so concerned about being gender neutral there. Whereas the, in the New International Version, they end up pluralizing the pronoun and making it say them rather than him. Another example of this is in Revelation 3.20. See, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. That's the Christian Standard Bible. In the New International Version, it says, Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. So that's just a minor point that has to do with, you know, whether this is good English. But if Jesus is talking about coming in and dining with a person, uh, in the NIV, suddenly it switches to the pronoun them, whereas in the Christian Standard Bible, it continues to use a singular pronoun. So again, because the CSB is less concerned with gender neutrality, it tends to read a little bit more like the original does and makes for better English, at least in my opinion. Number four, the reason why the CSB is better than the NIV is that it has more extensive transparent footnotes. And this is important for people who really want to kind of dig in and know a little bit more of the textual basis behind the translation. So let me just show you here a couple of examples where the CSB has more extensive footnotes than the NIV. In Matthew chapter 6 here, I have the footnotes on the Christian Standard Bible here on the left, and you can see other manuscripts read, other manuscripts read quite a few times there. On the right, you don't get that as much from the NIV doesn't really talk much about the other manuscripts. Another example that I have here, this is from Revelation 22. And again, you can see in the CSB on the left, a lot of places where it talks about how other manuscripts read, whereas you really don't get that in the NIV over here. So if you want to have extensive footnotes that allow you to see more about the textual bases behind the translation, I think you're gonna see that better in the CSB. And that's another reason why it's better than the NIV. One final reason that I'll give why the CSB is better is the unique Bibles that are available in the CSB. So for example, the Spurgeon Study Bible, the Apologetics Study Bible, She Reads Truth, He Reads Truth. Uh, these are just some of the unique Bibles that are available in the Christian Standard Bible Translation. And the NIV also has some really cool Bibles too, but these are some really good ones. 
and they are available exclusively in the Christian Standard Bible. Maybe the Spurgeon Study Bible, I think you can get it in the King James as well. But by and large, these particular study Bibles are available in the Christian Standard Bible. The Christian Standard Bible is published by Holman. It's uh, distributed, I think, by Lifeway. So they have some great backing behind them. They do a great job of uh, putting these great editions of the Christian Standard Bible out there. So that is another thing going for the Christian Standard Bible. I hope I've made the case. I mean, there's a lot more I could say. Those who've watched my channel know that I really like the Christian Standard Bible. So I do have a lot of good things to say about it. However, I want to be fair. And in my next video, I will talk about five reasons why the NIV is better than the CSB. So stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for listening to my thoughts brought to you from a fresh perspective.